Okay, so here we go with the review of the last of those two. So, um, where do I start? Um, I'll start off when... What, what did I think about the first game? Let's start with that. Um, I thought it was really good. Uh, 10 out of 10. It's a really good game. It's story-driven, and it's it's so good of how it develops its characters. Joel and, er Joel and Ellie's relationship was top-notch. Nothing like it. Um... Uh, you know, I played it on the PS4 re remaster, and that was really good. And I did a walkthrough of that. You can go ahead and check that out on the channel. Um, so that... So when we get into the second game, it starts off good. It starts off strong. We start with the flashback of Joel saving Ellie from the Firefly Hospital. And with his selfish decision to save his world... Ellie, that was his world, because he was like, no, I'm not going to lose another daughter, since Ellie was the cure, but the only way they could make a cure was to kill Ellie, but Joel was like, no, I'm not going to let you kill her, so, yep, um, give me a second, I need to put this on do not disturb mode, okay, there we go, sorry, I'm recording for my phones, <laughs> Okay, there we go. It's brighter. Um, so it starts off strong, like I said, and we get to play as Joel for like five minutes in the beginning. Um, then we cut back to, well, we cut forward at four years um, after, after the events of the first game. So um, how this game really starts off is... Um, we start off as Ellie. Uh, we, we were introduced to we're introduced to two new characters, uh, J um, Jesse and Dina. Jesse and Dina uh, kind of have like a little love thing going on, but they kind of broke up. So Ellie has feelings for Dina. So it's kind of more like a lesbian type of relationship between Ellie and Dina, which I'm okay with. I'm I encourage it. Really, I have no problem with it. It's natural, you know, at this time, um, of the century, um, so I, I don't, hey, if I'm being honest, I think it's not two girls looking up, so, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't care, um, because, um, okay, uh, if you, if you get, if you, of you guys might know this already, but, uh, an ex of mine that was actually kind of bisexual, I didn't have a problem with her being bisexual at all. Just that, you know, I actually encouraged her to, like, leave me for a girl. Which was a respectful way to kind of, like, end off the relationship. If she felt like she had to do that to discover more of herself, then I just, you can go ahead and do it. I got no problem with it. Exactly, because I didn't have any problem with it in this game. You know, people, you know, dis decide who they, who they like or whatnot. So, you know, I got no problem with it. Um, let's see. So, you don't really see Joel interact with Ellie at all in the present time of the story. There's a reason why, and I'll get to that. Um, so, 
Dina, let me discuss Dina's character. She is, uh, she's quick-witted and very sarcastic. Uh, I like that. And, um, she's, she's, she's an okay character, a good character in my opinion. Jesse, though, his character was awesome. I love Jesse. Um, he, he was just cool, really. I, I think Jesse's a cool dude, man. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so we're playing as Ellie, we're like playing in the new location that she's in in Jackson. And, uh, oh, hold up for just a quick second. pretty next gen like it's kind of like carrying on from like the mechanics of Uncharted 4 since this is the uh, same creators that made the Uncharted series which I'm a very big fan of and I that was my first successful playthrough actually of Uncharted 4 and I'm very proud of that um, but the the people who made this game were Naughty Dog and they made a pretty good games until this one and here's where we get to some crappy stuff so we play as Ellie for like 30 minutes, right? We switch over to a new character that we don't know about. Um, but this person's like a fighter, kind of. And this woman is too, I okay, I've seen like who I was playing this with. Uh, she told me like women's bodies are not supposed to be like that. And she's a girl and so I was just like, yeah, because this new character's arms were like as big as my legs like I'm being serious I'm just I'm like that's not how women are supposed to look like at all it, it looks so weird and horrible and I just it, it didn't it didn't match up at all and I'm gonna do a quick I'm gonna do a quick uh, edit right quick right quick Give me a second. Okay, now we're back. <laughs> I just wanted to set my PS4 up actually to get a better sense of what I'm talking about. Anyway, so we are at the new character that we're talking about, right? Okay, so this is what she looks like when you first see her. Just, how, how does a character even look like that? That looks too masculine, and it doesn't look, no, no. It doesn't, it just doesn't look right, it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't, oh, let me try to get to the face, yeah, it just doesn't. Like, her arms are too ma it's too big for her body. It just doesn't, like, really do that much for me, you know what I mean? Let me turn the brightness down, there we go. Now you guys can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, it, it just doesn't, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't like it. Anyway, besides all that, let's uh, switch over to Ellie. Okay. Now, so, where was I? Right, so that new character, Abby. So, um, she's uh, with this new type of group called the w WLF, I think. Let me put some brightness in here, actually. So you guys can see me better, so I'm not completely dark. So, um, yeah, it's called the WLF and everything, so. Uh, so, this character gets saved by Joel. Let me switch over to real quick. 
Anyway, so she gets uh, saved by Joel and everything like that. And I, I just, like, if you get saved by someone, you wouldn't try to kill them, right? But, okay, so she brings them back to their type of hideout and everything. And after that, she shoots Joel with a shotgun. She Joel saves her in this game. Joel saves her. But she immediately, when she brings him back to her home base, she shoots Joel in the kneecap, busts his kneecap with a shot with a shotgun. And then, and then she's like, "You're you're Joel Miller." And Joel's like, what are, you, what are you trying to do, huh? And all this other stuff. And like, and it's so weird that Joel would actually immediately say to someone that he doesn't know because that's out of character. He wouldn't trust anyone that easily, by the way. Just just saying that, clarifying. Um, because it was stated in the first game that he knows he can't trust anyone. He can't. Like, he literally was going to run a guy over that said that he needed help. So, I'm just saying that's not in character for Joel. So, I don't know what the heck they were thinking with the writing in that. Um, I knew Joel was going to die in this game. So many people knew Joel was going to die before this game was leaked out. Yes. But. <laughs> Man, I can't even see myself. Jesus, I am dark as day. It's somewhat appealing. Anyway. Um... I can't. So, Ellie, Ellie and Dina, while they're on patrol, while this is happening, while Joel's getting tortured, by the way, um, Dina and <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> Ellie, they uh, find like a weed place or something, and then they s smoke some weed together. But uh, this thing, this game did uh, get my approval though, uh, with uh, a little. Um, girl on girl action a little bit, so you know, yeah, that's 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 always okay in my book. That's kind of a little reason why I wanted to buy this game to see if there's gonna be some girl on girl action. I got that, so I'm happy with that. That made it an 11 out of 10 for me. But here's where we de deduct some points from the rating system. Here we go, people. One of the most controversial moments. One of them. Now I'm not saying this is it, but I'm saying this is one of them. So. <laughs> mm, so Joel does die but the thing is that Abby keeps hitting him in the head with a golf club torturing him Ellie comes over there as soon as she's done you know uh, screwing up with uh, Dina um, oh and uh, here's what Dina looks like Dina don't look that bad though Dina don't look that bad Dina don't look bad at all. It's quite a catch. I'll say that for sure. Dina do not look that bad. Man, if there was a girl out there at school, I would... Whew, I'd be like, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me zoom in a little bit. Hold on. Put the brightness down. Yeah. She's quite a catch, I think so. Let me zoom out. I'm trying to zoom out. Jesus. It's hard to see with this. Yeah, she's... Pretty good, good looking, I think. Um, anyways, so whenever, whenever Ellie gets there to where Joel is at, um, Joel is still alive, barely. Um, Ellie is held down, forced to watch, forced to watch this as Abby keeps hitting Joel over in the uh, in the head with a golf club. And Ellie is, is shouting, please, no, please don't do this. Don't kill him. Do not, please, I am begging you, do not do this. Please. She is pleading with every ounce of her body to not kill Joel. But Abby just hits him one more time over the head, and his brains are all over the place with the golf club. His blood is spraying out of his head. I'm like, what the flip? But here's the thing, though. I try to believe that Joel was not dead. Why? Because the game, uh, the way that this game was advertised, in all the trailers, it showed Joel in present time. 
Did it not? Yes, it did. So they trick people into buying it. That is false advertising. Oh, that, that pisses me off. It's false advertising, and it's, I, sh oh my god. Never believe video game or movie trailers. Ever. That's all I'm just gonna say. Never believe those trailers, because they are a lying. Lies. So, like Endgame, some parts of that was a lie. Infinity War. I mean, those were good movies, though. Don't get me wrong, I love them, but, you know. Just saying, they're all false advertisement ways, and just don't fall for them. So, let's see. No. Okay. Sorry, just checking. Um, where am I into this? Okay, so Joel dies. Ellie's pissed. She wants revenge. Let's get our revenge story. So let me put the brightness up. So since we're gonna be talking a little bit more, so um, here we go with our revenge story. And, uh, Jesus, there we go, hopefully that's better, oh yeah, that's, that's better, you can see me a, little, a bit better now, so, um, we have our revenge story and everything, uh, I'm trying to figure out where this takes place, so, Tommy, Joel's brother, um, he, he says that, what if we can't beat these people that killed Joel and Ellie's like, no, I'm, we got to get a revenge, man. I'll go with, uh, I'll go with or without you. Take it or leave it. And Tommy's like, yeah, I'll go with you. So after that, uh, we kind of wait a day before uh, we leave to Seattle since that's where Abby's group is, the WLF. Tommy's already gone. I'm just like, okay, why did you already leave? But all right, oh well. So um, Ellie and Dina are on the journey to Seattle to find Tommy and kill Abby. Two objectives. So, as we continue on to the journey, um, it's good. It's a very good seven hours of, seven to ten hours of playing this Ellie, just killing everyone and just trying to get our revenge, getting our revenge, as we should be. So, um, the gameplay, uh, it, um, oh, we'll get into the gameplay later. I'm just talking about the story to, just to get it out of the way because I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. Um, so the, uh, so there are like three days into Seattle and Seattle day one was good. Seattle day two was good. Seattle day three was good. But the thing is, is that, um, in Seattle day two though, there is actually a person that actually does know where, um, Abby is and Ellie wants to get that information out of them. But that person's like, oh, no, I'm not going to tell you anything. So Ellie tortures them to death. And let me get into the Ellie Day 2. Yeah, Seattle. That's, that's like, that's ultimate Ellie right there, man, with the bow and arrow and everything. Yeah. Hardcore. Hardcore. So, um, Seattle Day 2 was one of my favorites. Uh... And it was, uh, it was really good. Um, but the thing is that that torture scene, though, where we got to torture and everything, I was just like, oh, boy, that's taking a little too far. But, you know. Um, but uh, we did uh, get the info. And uh, the, the graphics, though, Jesus Christ, the graphics are amazing. The graphics are top notch. This is the greatest graphics I've ever seen in a video game. Period. Um, yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Nothing really can compare. I, this is the best that the PS4 has ever looked. Um, so, as we get on to the final day of Ellie's uh, story in Seattle. Um, oh, yeah. And we also find out later on that Dina is pregnant. So, yeah, these, Dina's pregnant with Jesse's kids since, uh, like I said earlier, Dina and Jesse were kind of like, uh, got off of a, uh, a relationship. So it's uh, Jesse's kid that's in uh, Dina. So it was kind of a little awkward to learn that, but, you know. Um, but yeah, Dina's pregnant, so she kind of has to sit out for a little bit of the story. And 
I need to mute this, okay. Um, let's see, where are we gonna go with this? Huh, I lost my train of thought. Lost my train of thought. Mm. Um, okay, okay, okay. I know where we're at. So, when, whenever everyone's settled and we find Tommy and Jesse actually uh, came uh, to help us out too. So, we're regrouping with Tommy, Jesse, Dina, and uh, Ellie, right? And we're just hanging out in the theater. That's, that's uh, where we're at as our home base. And um, Tommy gets hit by Abby, um, held at gunpoint. And Jesse and Ellie uh, rush to help him out. Oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Got some music in there now. Um, but yeah, Abby literally just shoots Jesse straight through the head. I, we even barely got to focus on his character, but he was such a cool character, though. He was so easygoing, and he was willing to help. Joel and he said that he respected Joel. That's why he wanted to come to Seattle to help. I'm just like, are you kidding me? So you're just gonna kill off Jesse? But okay. Um, and then we get to this cliffhanger point to where Ellie is held at gunpoint with Tommy, and then it just switches. It switches. It switches, and it just and it switches over to Abby. You can see the pain in my eyes right now. I did not want to play as Abby for 10 hours. Oh my God, I did not want to do that. Oh my God, no. Why would you have me play as the character that killed Joel and Jesse? Like that is so sadistic. I hated that crap. And the only person I hate for this is the director of this game, Neil Druckmann. He sucks. He sucks a lot as a person. And it, and there's a character, too, um, that kind of almost looks like Neil Druckmann. Like, it's like a self-insertion into the game. And he literally spits on Joel as Joel dies, too. Which I think Neil Druckmann actually wants to spit, spit on Joel. Because Neil Druckmann isn't... He's a complete jerk, man. I, I, I literally hate the guy. I'm not going to buy any of his games ever again. Just going to say. Um, so, yeah, we have to play as Abby for ten hours. Um... I'm not going to talk about her story because it's crap. They force you to like her. They force you to like Abby. I like, I don't care. I want to switch back to Ellie. I don't want to play as her because, okay. So how are you supposed to sympathize with the character that killed that beloved character from the first game? Explain that. That's hypocritical. Plus, what you should have done, if you wanted us to um, like Abby's character, you should have had us play Abby in the first hours of this game. Then, actually, I'll explain how this should have went down. I'll explain how this totally should have went down later on, down the road. But, um, a little bit about Abby's story, since I have to give a little insight. So, there's this character that she likes named Owen. Um, but Owen is, uh, married to this girl named Mel that's pregnant. Um, she's about, like, uh, six or nine months pregnant. And, um, okay. There's this character, Manny, that actually spit on Joel that actually looks like Neil Druckmann. Um, he, I, I don't care. I don't care for these characters. They're, they're dumb. I, I don't, I don't care. Because they were associated with Joel's death, so, yeah, I want them dead, so... Um, oh, the reason why Abby wanted to kill Joel this whole time is because you remember that first doctor you had to kill in the first game? Yeah, that was Abby's father. <laughs> what? This doesn't make any sense. I don't. Okay, that random NPC in the first game is a character's father. I can't. I don't care. That that's so. What all the NPCs that I killed are they gonna try to get revenge on me? Oh boy! Like I stupid. That is the laziest writing I've ever heard in my life. 
lazy and it's 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 dumb. It it's just I don't know. <sighs> so yeah, and they try to make it to where the dad it was actually like a good person. Like he helps animals, he's a doctor, he he looks out for his kid. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I only care about Joel and Ellie. Oh, and the flashbacks with Joel and Ellie, by the way, are amazing. There's this museum flashback um, that you get to play for about an hour or 30 minutes, and it was so good. It was about Ellie's birthday and Joel taking her to a, um, a dinosaur and airspace museum. And it was it was really beautiful. It it was it was um, it was really good, and it made me miss Joel a lot, man. Like it was such a beautiful, beautiful scene. It really was. Um, let me see, where are we gonna go with this? Uh, man, I wish my brightness was up so you can see me clearly. So you could see my good futures. Uh, not about bragging about my cute self. Uh, I need to think about what else I'm gonna talk about. Um, so yeah, a little bit about more of Abby's story, I guess. Um, there's, uh, like, what, there's, um, there's these two kids, these two kids, Asian kids, they're called Scars, they're, like, from, um, a type of community that only uses guns and only bow and arrows, and that's really it, and they're kind of religious, so they only stick to their own beliefs, since they're called Seraphite Scars, you know, either one, um, and... Uh, this one Asian kid named Yara, and there's this other Asian kid named Lev. They're, they're okay. They're not bad. They're okay characters in Abby's story. I, you know, I kind of had an okay time with it. Um, and they also try to make it very hypocritical, too, when Ellie has to kill dogs in order to survive and progress through the story. But the thing is, is that on Abby's side... Um, it shows that she takes care of dogs and she plays fetch with dogs. And I'm like, oh, don't on, do not even try to force me to like Abby. Like, I don't care. I don't care. And it was so forced. It was so forced. Kind of reminds me of a person that I know that likes to force things a lot. But moving on from that, <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, those characters were fine, the Yara and Lev, um, but the thing is, is that you find out that, uh, one of these characters is actually a trans character, uh, Lev, uh, Lev is actually a girl, but later figures out that he, like, he's trapped inside a girl's body, so he wants to be more of a guy, which is okay, and, you know, tomboys are cool, so I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> like, I don't, like, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it, you know. It's your own beliefs anyway. Um, let's see. Okay, so we cut to to where we meet back up uh, to Ellie um, back at that cliffhanger but on Abby's perspective so we have to um, um, Tommy gets shot in the eye by Abby yeah very yeah okay I, I, I don't even already like her character this is making me hate her hate her even more I just want to kill her man I just like I want my revenge, man. And it's just, oh my god. Um, let's see. Uh, so we have to fight Ellie as Abby. No, no freaking way. I'm not doing that, man. I'm not hitting Ellie. There's no way I'm gonna hit a beloved character. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's like if you had to be Thanos. And fight Iron Man or Captain America or something. I'm, no, that's just no. That's too. That's 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 horrible. Why, why would you want to do that? Oh God, that's whoever thought of that is evil. That is 
is not a way that you do that. I'm just... I'm shocked. Like, you don't do that. At all. So, you have to... Yeah, you have to fight um, Ellie as Abby. So, once, once that battle's over... God, I, I did not want to punch Ellie. I, I kept saying sorry every time that I kept doing it. I just... I didn't want to play. I didn't want to play as Abby. I just didn't, and it was forced. It was the little definition of forced. Sorry, I have to sit up for a second. But yeah, it was the little definition of forced, and it was pissing me off with every fiber of my body. Um, so then, El I mean, Dina comes in to try to save Ellie. Um, but uh, Abby starts bashing her head against some wood and is about to slit Dina's throat and Ellie's like, no, don't do it. She's pregnant. And, oh, hold on. Before I even get to that point, um, Ellie does kill some people in this game that she does regret, regret killing. Um, but it was out of self-defense though. So the, the pregnant woman, um, that I kind of talked about earlier, Mel, that was like about eight or nine months pregnant during uh, El uh, Abby's story, you actually kill Mel in um, Ellie's story. And uh, she had to kill Mel because Mel was trying to kill a a Ellie. So, and when uh, Ellie figured out that Mel was pregnant, she kind of started having a heart attack and having uh, trouble breathing and everything like that. And she really felt bad. And she really did feel bad about that. And she just was really about to lose it right then and there. Because she didn't want that to happen to being on a conscience. Because she really feels guilty that she killed a, a pregnant person. Especially during uh, in self-defense. So when we get back to that point. Uh, uh, Abby about to slit Dina's throat. Ellie does say, wait, stop, she's pregnant. And Abby takes some satisfaction into that, into her voice, and she says, good, and is about to slit Dina's throat and tell Lev, the um, Asian kid, that, uh, that, uh, you know, sticks around with uh, Abby. Um, Lev says, no, and don't do it, and Abby just lets both of them go. Um, and then we cut to a year later, um... Abby, I mean not Abby, um, Ellie and Dina and the newborn kid actually that Dina gave birth to, Jesse's kid, um, JJ, he, uh, they're all living a happy life, all three of them, um, they're at a farm and they're li living peacefully, they're happy, they're getting by, and, but the thing is is that Ellie is still haunted by Joel's death. So she still has flashbacks and nightmares and everything like that. So it's just, uh, it's a little too much for her to handle. And Tommy is actually alive, thank God. But the thing is, is that he can barely walk a little bit. His eye is not working. And uh, his wife actually left him, they're divorced. And it's like, are you serious? And the way that they portray the males in this game, they, they are so disrespectful to males in this game. Not like I'm, I'm against like all females and everything. I'm, I'm all for that. Like, I didn't have no problems like playing with a female or anything. Um, but they disrespect males way too much. They either kill them or they break them. That's, that's, that's all I have to say on that. So Tommy um, comes up to the farm and is like, "Hey, I know, I know that it's a long shot, but it's been uh, a couple of months ever since that Abby has been out in the out in the loose." And let me. And, um, and then Tommy uh, just uh, says that you gotta kill her, you gotta kill Abby, and Ellie's just conflicted with that if she should kill or kill her or not but there was like another, another flashback scene to where um it's kind of like a little uh, a, a cute love scene between Dina and Ellie where they have their first kiss at a dance um but there's this one rude guy that calls Ellie a dyke 
Um, and it's, it's stupid to where that guy had to call her that name. Yeah, no one should ever want. No one should ever call anyone that. You know, and one should just really needs to be nice, especially at this point of time. We're in the middle of a pandemic and everything, so. Um, but yeah, everyone just be nice to each other. All right, that, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Like, really, be nice, you know? It's, it's not gonna hurt. I know a few people uh, that don't want to be nice, though. At least a few people. Name starts with a W. Actually, no. Both of their last names start with a W. That's all I'm gonna say. And they're both girls. And they're both straight up mean, so, yeah. Anywho. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, but yeah, um, but Joel tries to, uh, oh, right a minute, I, for, I forgot about one of the biggest points. Ellie learns the truth about her immunity of what happened at the flyer, Fireflies, of what Joel had to do. So, during some of the other flashbacks between Joel and Ellie, um, yeah, Ellie learns the truth, and... It's still during the time between the events of the first and second game. And Ellie says that we're done. I don't want to talk to you anymore. And she goes when she learns the truth. So, yeah. And still during these flashbacks, um, Ellie's still kind of rude to Joel and everything. And it's just, it, it kind of sucks. But it's understandable, though, to why I understand to where um, she feels like that. And she is kind of mean to Joel, but, you know, stuff happens. Um, hold on, okay, still music playing. Almost forgot. Hold on. I'm trying to see if this timer is going to go past 30 seconds. Let's see. Okay, it does. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just wondering. Um, so, whenever uh, that flashback is done, Ellie is about to leave the, the house and everything back in present time. We're talking back in present time now, not the flashbacks anymore. So, um, when Ellie's about to leave, Dina's just like, where are you going? And Ellie's like, I have to finish it. I have to try to kill her this time. And Dina's pleading her, please don't do this. We can talk about it in the morning, okay? And she's just like, no, I have to I have to go kill her. And Ellie leaves um, to go where Abby is at Santa Barbara, California, I think. So uh, as soon as we get to there, um, Abby is actually captured and tortured, yes, that, uh, by these Rattler guys. And I was just like, kill her, kill her, kill her. But, I mean, they didn't get the killer, but they just tortured her for a bit. So, um, there's like this cool little final uh, battle section in the game to where you, uh, where you play as uh, Ellie. And it's where you're at Santa Barbara and you're just using all your weapons and everything like that. And it's really good to progress through that. I actually played through it a couple times to try to get better and everything. It's it's really good. Um, so, so, I'm just itching right now. Been out in the yard cutting grass. Okay. Okay, I'm not itching anymore. <laughs> okay. So, um, my, 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 my. so, we get to the beach and we see that Abby is like kind of like hanging crucified style a little bit like Jesus style um, so Ellie cuts her down and Abby is uh, caring about Lev so it's kind of like she has something to look forward to because she has someone that she has to care about I don't care about that um, so when we get to the beach and Ellie's about to go, which I'm about to say, um, you gotta kill Abby, right? You're gonna kill her, right? 
and then we have another flashback, like a, like a two second flashback of Joel's dead body, and Ellie's just like, no, I gotta kill you, I have to kill you, so, yeah, and here we go with the final battle and everything, and it's, oh boy, I've been waiting to fight Abby for so long, and here we go, the final battle, man, and I'm here and slicing and dicing and everything, and Abby actually bites two, uh, two fingers off of Ellie's hand, and it's just, it's insane, it's insane, but still, I'm, I'm choking Abby on, on the, on the ocean water, she's like two seconds away from dying with a gasp of air with her dying breath and Ellie's just about to kill her when she doesn't she doesn't kill her <laughs> why why I don't know why you know I got so mad I was just like excuse me no you finished the job finish the job but no, it's just like you don't get to finish the job at all, and I'm just like, sorry, I have to read just my shorts. Anyway, um, yeah, like, you don't get to finish the job at all, and it's so stupid. Like, you just let her go after everything? Like, after all the kill, after all the people you killed in Seattle, after all the people that you killed in Santa Barbara, all the dogs, and all, everyone, everything, just, you let her go after that? Not to avenge Joel's death, and it's disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. And I don't care for the people that say that they like this game because they are they are on crack. They are cr they are on crack, or they're high, or they're getting paid by Naughty Dog. I'm sorry, but that was stupid. That was stupid. Only the good parts in this game were Ellie's parts. That's it. That's it. Nothing was enjoyable about Abby's involvement at all. And it ruined the story for me, which deducted the game for a 7 out of 10. I'm sorry, I normally don't give games that score. I usually give it an 8 or 9, but that's a 7 out of 10. I think it's just an average game. That's why I stick by, because my expectations were 11 out of 10, and it deducted 4 points from a 7 out of 10. That's fuck, that, 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 I'm sorry, that's freaking horrible. And that's, that's it's unforgivable of how they mistreat the characters from the first game to this game. They're either dead or broken, and I'm sorry to have to go over into my ranting phase right now, but that was crazy. Oh, and by the way, I'm not finished with the story yet. So, uh, whenever you get back to the farm, um, Ellie still is losing two of her fingers, by the way, that Abby bit off, and if someone would have bit my fingers off, I would have straight up killed them. So, when you get back to the farmhouse, no one is there. Dina moved out with the child. Okay, that's that's horrible. Um, so Ellie tries to play guitar, but she can't play the guitar, which only connects her connection to Joel. She can't play it because her two fingers are gone. And that's another thing. You can play guitars in this game. It's it's pretty cool. Um, then you have one more flashback scene uh, before the ending of the game. It's about uh, Ellie was trying to. Uh, learned how to forgive Joel of Joel lying to her back into the first game and he was willing I mean she was willing for her uh, to try to forgive him and try to reconcile with him try to build back um, their relationship as a father and daughter relationship and I, I found that okay but it's 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 pointless at this point now because when we get back to present time she can't play the guitar no one's there. She's all alone. She's living her worst fear. Went back when she sat in the first game. She's she's scared of being alone, being by herself, and she's living her worst fear. Naughty Dog said Naughty Dog says that they care about their characters. Hell no, no you don't. No you do not, because you have your number one character, well number one or number two character live the worst and biggest fear. You are hip, a critical. I'm sorry, but I'm posting my, I, this is my statement right now, what I think. That is horrible. You have her live her worst fear. Everyone's dead or gone or broken. I 
I don't, I don't know what else to say. That's like a big middle finger out to fans who liked the first game. I just don't understand. This game's story sucks. It sucks. And it's really hard to, it's really hard to, I, I love sequels, man. Don't get me wrong. I love sequels, but this was the worst of them. I, I hated this story. Now, on to gameplay. Gameplay was top notch. Um, how you can upgrade stuff and get new weapons and everything like that. Shoot arrows, shoot semi-auto rifles, and make explosive arrows, which is pretty cool. Um, you can actually change the HUD color a little bit to uh, red, blue, yellow, purple, orange, or something. It was pretty cool to do that. Um, the music, as you're listening to right now, it is beautiful music. The, the music, the, the graphics... The gameplay, 10 out of 10 on that. Story, 3 out of 10. My overall score for this game, 7 out of 10. I hate this game's story, though. It's it's irredeemable. I don't see how they can make a third game. They can't make a third game. Everyone's dead or broken. You can't You can't make a story now. You can't make a story out of this game. You, I mean, out of you can't make a another game. You can't. I don't see how they can. And if this is how this series ends, then it's a it's a crappy way to it's a it's a crappy way to end a game, man. I'm sorry, but Jesus, that is a crappy way to end a game. Crappy. Eats us. Oh man. Oh, uh, this, uh, the infected into the, uh, in this game, though, were pretty cool. There's this, uh, new type of infected called the Rat King. It's like a combination of a bloater, clicker, shambler. It's so gross, but it was, it was cool. It was a cool boss fight, though. Um, shambler. Yeah, there, there's these new types of infected called shamblers. And they, they're like a mixture of a, I don't know, but they shoot acid spores at you, and they can spread it out through these ugly spores. I wrote out of their, I don't know, it's gross. But, um, it's just, I mean, I really, man, I'm so upset. There goes Joel, big man himself. So that's my review for this game and hey you guys wanted to hear what I think about this game and uh, there you go there you have it I couldn't I just I I'm so upset um my finale would be posted up short on this game for my walkthrough either tomorrow or today so just uh, hang tight on that and make sure to check out the channel what are you doing? Just sitting around. Check out the channel. Check out the channel. And uh, thank you. This is my first public review ever. And yeah. I will see you guys when I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm actually... Uh, sorry, I have to do something there. I'm actually going to be doing uh, another walkthrough later on. Uh, it'll be a couple weeks because I got some stuff I have to do, just um, busy stuff, and I'll get right back on to uh, my gaming. I'm just taking a little break from it right now, but I'll get right back on it. So don't worry. It's not just the ships. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys when I'll see you guys. Just make sure you got my hair. And Joel's in there too. Love you, Joel. Um, I will see you guys when I'll see you guys. The next one. Bye-bye.